Hey everyone, it's Danielle with Sisters Under Pressure. I am making a video on how to make popcorn in your Instant Pot. If you've already been to SistersUnderPressure.com, we already have this recipe up there, but I have been asked by so many people to do a video, so that's what we're gonna go ahead and do today. You only need three ingredients to do popcorn. One, two, three, woohoo! So, first thing you need is popcorn! Um, this is going to be the first time that I am popping this specific popcorn. I just happened to be in the organic section at Wegmans. And this is Arrowhead Mills Organic Yellow Popcorn. So I don't really know what makes it organic. But it does say there are 36 grams of whole grains per serving. So that means it's good for you. We'll go with that. But it's gluten free, low fat, sodium free, an excellent source of fiber. So that's exciting. Next thing we need, coconut oil and butter. You can use your d different combinations of oils. The, this is the only version I can attest to. Uh, I have this specific coconut oil. This is virgin coconut oil and it has a 350 degree smoke point. I know um, this is also unrefined coconut oil. I know refined coconut oil, I believe the smoke point of that one is around 400 degrees. So that may make a difference in your recipe. Um, I'm a weird person. I don't like butter. I don't like real butter. Um, and so the butter I use in my recipe is actually country crock. So I'm just going to be upfront and honest about that. But what I love about this recipe is my husband and I usually make popcorn in our air popper. And when we make it in the air popper, I add salt. I add butter to it. Well, fake butter. Um, and with this, I don't add anything else. And my husband does not like coconut but this does not leave that much of a coconut flavor with the, the popcorn. So let's go ahead and let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna go ahead and do is push the saute button on our pressure cooker. And last setting I used was more, but you can change that. I'm, gonna, I'm doing this one-handed, so by hitting adjust. So see how that changes your pressure, that changes the temperature. We want it to be more because we want that nice hot temperature. In just a second, it's gonna change from that 30, it's gonna say on, so that means it's heating up. And then in a couple of minutes, it's gonna to turn to hot, 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 hot. And that's how we're gonna know that it is ready for the oil. All right, that says hot. I put the, that on saute about 629, right when it was getting ready to change to 630. It's now 633. So it took about three, three and a half minutes to come up to this hot setting. I'm gonna go ahead and add my coconut oil and butter and let that get nice and hot. I'm going to spread that around. It's only going to take not even probably a minute Ooh. to go ahead and come up and be ready. <laughs> I'm trying to watch the camera and do this at the same time. I usually have a different shelf that I cook on and it's really hard for me to kind of see. Just let that kind of slosh around a little bit. It's gonna get nice and hot. I'm gonna get my kernels in just a second and I'm gonna add those once all of this goodliness is fabulous and melted. Dun, dun, dun. And after you add the oil, it's gonna take a minute or two for it to kind of come back to that, that hot setting. But I usually just kind of, once I see it really bubbling and everything, I just go ahead and add my kernels in. And I'm going to slosh them around, make sure they all get coated with this awesome coconutty, buttery, fabulous mixture. And sometimes I do silly things like put them all in a thing and I draw things. There's a smile face, sort of. So we're gonna go ahead and just get those all covered. And I'm gonna grab a lid. This is just a lid that I have from um, actually one of my crock pots. And so we're gonna go ahead and let that go start going. It is 6.35, so we are officially ticking down the clock until we have a beautiful, amazing popcorn in our Instant Pot. All right, it is 6.38. I went ahead and paused it just while it was heating up and everything. And as you can see, we have popcorn. I like to pop, 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 
Popcorn with Danielle. Woo, everybody, I like to pop, pop, pop. Popcorn with Danielle. Woo, woo. It's exciting. I'm a music teacher, so this is what I do all day. So super exciting. Look at all that amazing popcorn. I'm so excited. I love popcorn. Um, and like I said, with this popcorn, I'm actually not even going to add anything to it. I'm just going to enjoy it as it is. I don't think it needs any extra salt or butter or anything like that. So I actually find that this is better than the air popper for me personally. And my husband will actually take the entire pot and nom nom on it right in front of the TV. So we don't end up with very much extra popcorn. But I'm pretty excited about this popcorn. I was a little nervous. I wasn't sure how the organic popcorn was going to pop. Normally, I just have basic popcorn kernels from Wegmans, from Walmart, wherever I have to be, um, wherever I happen to be shopping at that time. So let's go ahead. We're going to let this pop until I think most of the popcorn is pretty popped. And what I will then do is go ahead and hit the cancel button on the pot, let it sit for a minute or two, and then I'll go ahead and remove the lid. All right, we have finished. Ta-da! Popcorn! Popcorn, popcorn, woo, woo, woo! And I'm back. I'm gonna go ahead and measure out how much popcorn half a cup actually made and show you how, what I have left for kernels. So I have let this sit for about a minute. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and I've got one cup here. Two cups. Three cups. Oh, it smells so awesome. I wish I'd smell a vision. I think that is four. If not, I'm going to have to edit this video. Five. Put it all in there. Six. I think we're going to be rounding out right about seven cups here. So that's not quite a full cup. So what I've got left in here is going to be about, about seven cups. Um, if I can't count because I was trying to do this at the same time, maybe it's six. And I think that was seven. But I'm super pleased to see what I have, or I should say what I don't have left in the bottom of the pot. I have about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine kernels total. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. We've got that there and that there. So there you have it. I hope you can go enjoy your own popcorn. So good! and experiment with different toppings and things like that. So if you love this, make sure you give it a thumbs up if you've made it a different way or maybe you've added different toppings. We'd love to hear from you. Leave, leave it down in the comments below. Make sure you head over to our blog, sistersunderpressure.com and head over to our Facebook page for fun and shenanigans. That's just facebook.com slash sistersunderpressure. Thanks for watching everyone and have a beautiful day and go make some popcorn. Woo woo!